What is going on guys? I'm excited to make this video. I actually had a really good friend, a subscriber reach out to me and say, hey man, I wanna send you some baits. His name is Rothel. And guys, this is insane. Like I never thought I would've been on YouTube making videos and having somebody want to send me a bait. I'm honored, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. So let's get into these baits, man. He hooked your boy up, like majorly. I didn't see this coming. So I actually got two packages from him and I put together some of the best things from him. So let's get into this video. Let's go. All right, first off, he sent me a jackhammer chowder bait. Guys, I have been wanting one of these baits forever, but I couldn't put 15 to $20 into a chowder bait. I know how I fish. I fish them kind of reckless, but I'm excited to have this one and put it to the test. Now, this is the green pumpkin one, as you can see in the three eighths. Now guys, you know the chowder bait is one of my favorite lures. Would you guys be interested in seeing me do a video of my top three chowder baits, how I use them, and also my rod and reel setup? Because I would be really interested in kind of breaking those down to you guys and letting you see how I like to fish them. So, that's the jackhammer. Let's keep it moving. Now, this bait is called the Western Bait. I never tried this one before, or I haven't heard it before. It's the Baby Bait Doctor, RDR. Now, it's supposed to be a low float, it's a great color. Chartreuse is really good for muddy water. So this would be a good one to test out too. And we'll see how it works. All right. Now this is a really cool little setup. I heard tons of guys talking about doing the donkey rig. Never tried it myself. I'm decent at fishing with a fluke. I'm not the best. But hey, man, you got to keep casting and keep trying until you get good. This should make things a little bit more interesting. Having two flukes at one time gives those bass more things to look at. And hopefully gives that big bass uh the urge to come out and bite my lord so this is a donkey rig and this is everything i need to set it up so i will look forward to actually fishing this setup pretty soon now i actually this one kind of came out the package but let me show it to you uh never heard this brand before i think it's a japanese jdm style bait this is it right here it's a lipless crankbait super finesse style bait but usually with everything that comes with japanese like details on this thing is insane Kind of give you guys a close-up of it. it has a really great color to it uh just like that pearlish greenish color and it's called guys i'm probably gonna butcher this the vicaria 62 if you heard of it before use it let me know looks really cool really finessey so it should get bit now this one's actually uh got ants on me man can't be getting bit out here man the tourellas uh shad is 62. this company is known for making great baits and it's a great color that pearl right is a good color especially when it gets cold your bait fish tend to turn pale in that white color so this one should get bit and i'd be interested to try this one out now this is a great bait right here for lily pads and fishing over slop i haven't had one of these hollow body uh baits quite yet but this one hopefully will get bit now with this one, I plan on throwing it on probably 50 pound braid or either 65 pound braid and it's fishing it slowly right over the pads uh, or even in that slop to try to get some epic blow ups. And this one is actually the culprit and it's called the top water shad. So this one should be really cool. I don't even know if I want to show you this. I don't even know if I want to show you guys this. That's going to trip out, man. But look, <laughs> another jackhammer, man. This is the black and blue. Now, a couple things about a black and blue chatter bait. Phenomenal for dirty water. This one should get a bit on muddy water. Sorry guys, I feel like I'm getting bit right now by ants. Maybe I should do this review inside, <laughs> but we're gonna keep it moving. Jackhammer chatter bait, phenomenal. Uh, great color, black and blue. I probably throwing it on my sights, shot nasty trailer on it. They make a killer setup. Now, I know you guys love these baits. Some other famous youtubers look at this guys look at that man googan baits y'all asked me a long time to try them out so now i can do a full day of fishing with googan baits and see how they truly work now this one is the bandito bug i have used this one before great bait guys it tears up easy but my thing is if i'm getting bit on it and it tears up so be it i'm here to catch fish and catch big fish this one gets bit I'll put my name on this one. It's a great bait to lose. Now, this is the uh, Dragon Drop. He sent me this one because he knew me and Michael have been trying to fish drop shots this year. 
So I'll be putting this to test. Great color. I'll be throwing the drop shot baits with this and hopefully get bit. Now, we got the Slim and Shake worm and also we got the Mondo worm. So I'm a big fan of big worms, especially in the summertime, dragging that big worm along and just setting the hook, man. Feels phenomenal. Now, this is some hooks. You always need hooks, man, especially with a treble style baits. It's great to replace your hooks and put new hooks in. Now, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I have no idea how to use a spoon. But as you see behind me, I got the Bass Raider. Now I have an opportunity to get out there deep and do some spoon fishing. And the cool things about spoons is they get huge. I'm a fan of throwing big baits. I got all my swim bait rods and reel setups. So I'm looking forward to throwing this one. I gotta do my research, guys. But I think uh, winter, and I don't know when else, but uh, I'll be using it and hopefully catching some giant bass on the spoon. This is the late fork spoon. Let's see, lures we added to, so hopefully we get bit on this bad boy. Now these are your choke hooks. Uh, this is the five volt hook, so I'll probably be using these on a bigger worm, probably like a 10 or 12 inch worm. So choke are super sharp, great hooks. They can tear your plastic up sometimes, but hey, if I'm sticking that fish and it's penetrating their mouth, I'll be going with it. All right. Just give me a couple seconds, guys. I ain't trying to get stuck by some trouble hooks. Now, two cool little baits. Whopper Plopper 75. Great little baits, guys. I love these things, man. I actually have, I think it's the 190, the 130, uh, and the 75s. So with this one, probably when it's clear water, I'll be throwing this one. It looks like a ghost minnow. And the perch color would probably be great for stained water. They can locate this bait just a little bit more. So two really cool baits to throw, man. The 75 series, Whopper Plopper. So appreciate it, bro. Like this is insane, man. These are great baits, man. Like I said, man, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. So Whopper Plopper, 75s. Now, let me show you guys these. He sent me these because he always know that I'm around schooling bass and I never have the Alabama rig when I need it. So, hey man, hats out to you. Now I'm fully prepared. These are actually, this is a smaller setup, guys, so it's made by Loud Target. So if you guys don't have, you know, rods that's capable of handling those big Alabama rigs, this one probably will fit the bill. I'm gonna give it a shot, guys, and test it out on those schooling bass. So, appreciate it, bro. Now, two last things. You never can go wrong with fluorocarbon. Once you get used to it, tie the right knot, loop it down. But this is the P-Line fluorocarbon 15 pound test, so good size. Now, I use the P-Line CXX for my swim bait setups, the 25 pound test. It's great line, so we'll give this a shot. And I must say, guys, guys, this is insane. I truly appreciate this. I didn't see it coming. Appreciate it, Rothel. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys have a great day, tight lines. And we'll see you on the next video. Hey, man, don't forget, subscribe to your boy. Y'all take care.